people keep asking me, I don't know about you, but who I'm going to give my torch to, right? And I always say to them, I am not giving up my torch, thank you very much. I'm keeping my torch. And I'm using it to light other people's torches. Because the whole idea that there's only one torch is the problem. No wonder we don't know where we're going. Everybody has to have a torch. <laughs> this election brought up someone as president who represents to me the backlash that comes against social justice movements. And it is very, very, very dangerous. It's also true that when we elect a possible person, I'm sorry to say we tend to go home and not be as active as, as we should. This is unprecedented in my life in seeing that people are just, just not going to take it. There was a rude awakening, I think, for white America that uh, captured my interest because I've been threatened by a lot of political expressions in the last 90 years. We've had a few presidents that have not been so kind. The Ku Klux Klan has been a forever presence in our midst. Uh, racism and oppression has been an eternal experience. What I think Trump contributes is that he's taken away the ambivalence in the politics of the right wing. Uh, he doesn't like Hispanics, he doesn't like women, he doesn't like anything. Since the election, no one has said to us, post-racist or post-feminist, right? Right, and right. exactly. <laughs> so in some sense, if you've been doing this all your life, you recognize how deep it is. That's the point. Right. It runs so deep. Right. My children are even amazed at the uh, things that they're hearing now. And I didn't realize how insulated they have become, that generation, for all that we struggle for in the civil rights movement, in the peace movement, uh, in, in the women's movement. Well, I gotta get the world off of my back. Oh, pretty soon I'm gonna crack. I feel enormously lucky to be doing what I'm doing. And I feel such faith in the younger activists I see. You know, sometimes I think I just had to wait for some of my friends to be born. <laughs> because it is now a majority movement when in our lives it was not. Had I not been led to a place of activism. Nothing in my life would have been worth its existence. I would never have been led to these destinations. Uh, Dr. Du Bois, Eleanor Roosevelt, all these people made my life absolutely a tarantella. It's a dance, it's a, it's, it's a place to be so privileged to be in. What we get to do is profoundly Interesting and communal and exciting Absolutely. and right. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely.